What up, Long Beach? It's Tyler. Welcome back to your home for local sports. This Moore League baseball highlight is brought to you by the fine folks at Naples Rib Company. From the didn't see this one coming department, Milliken and Jordan in an important Moore League showdown for the title hunt, and Jordan wearing their home whites with Tristan Martinez on the mound, the knuckleballer trying to baffle the Rams, who are in their road grays at home. Construction on the north side means that this Jordan home game is at Milliken. Bear with me. Johnny Weeks going to start the rally with a deep double for the Rams here in the top of the first inning for Milliken. I know it's weird. We'll get through it. So he's on second in scoring position. Up comes Jacob Huey. He's thinking one out RBI, but Devon Copeland in center says the nano. But Huey would later get the last laugh as the southpaw takes the mound for the Rams. He's gotten a lot more innings thanks to the injury to Spencer Steer, and he took advantage. His first inning went K swinging, K swinging, and then pickoff move spinning as he goes back to second and gets out of the little mini jam there in the first. Top two, two on, one out for Chase Ambrose. He's going to drop one into right field as that finds some grass out there safely. Now the bases are loaded for the top of the order and Tristan Chamberlain with just one out here in the second inning and Chamberlain does his job. Good situational hitting as he sends the ball deep enough the other way to score Dean Duggan who's going to slide in like a middle linebacker should get off the tracks when 23 is coming through and the Rams have a 1-0 lead here in the second. Thought they were going to get more as Weeks thinks he has an RBI going the other way, but did nobody watch our Jordan Wilson highlight? Fausto Miranda up and throwing, and he gone! He nails Tyler Steer at the plate. That's a heck of a throw there from the senior. Fausto reads Steer his Miranda rights. He's not wearing double zero. Those are two bullseyes on his uni. Milliken threatening again in the third. Huey going to beat out this chopper to short after the hesitation and then the knuckleball giveth, and the knuckleball taketh away. Martinez struggled to control it for big parts of this game. Two wild pitches are going to let Huey move all the way to third with nobody out here in the third. Spencer Steer promptly drives him in to double the Rams' lead. It's now 2-0 as Huey brings home Lewis and the good news. Another wild pitch puts Steer over to third as the knuckleball, tough pitch to throw with runners on, and it gave Milliken extra bases all day long. Griffin Keller takes advantage of the RBI chance the other way. That'll bring home Steer, but there will be more as Miranda misses on the dive, and it's going to end up as a Griff-Kell triple. Trading spots at third, that's a good formula for the offense and the Rams making that quiche all afternoon. They were eaten in the early innings. Next up, Dean Duggan. He's going to get a hold of that one and easily score Keller as he trots home. And no surprise, Duggan be chugging, and he's going to go headfirst into second Rams 4-0 there after the third inning. Huey made those runs stand up. He struck out nine Panthers on the afternoon, and when he got into trouble in the fourth inning, the bases were loaded right here, but he gets the K to escape the jam. You can see he was fired up about that clutch pitch right there. The Rams never added to that four-run lead, however, thanks in part to Copeland in center. Oh, my! we got to go back and take a look at that replay, robbing Steer. He's doing his best Jermaine Copeland impression with that catch. Shout out to all the harem and blue devils out there and any LA extreme fans that remember Jermaine Copeland. Panthers didn't go quietly in the seventh inning. Miranda going to reach base on this throwing error. And then after a single, there's two on with nobody out in this four run game. But Huey bowed his neck and made the pitches when he needed to. Back to back strikeouts for the senior. One out remaining. He gets the ground ball. Johnny Weeks for days. And the Rams hold on to win it. Complete game. Shut out. Three hitter. Nine Ks. And uh, pose for the picture. Rams are 3-0 in the Moore League as they take care of Jordan for nothing. A game that used to be taken for granted. Not anymore, y'all. It's going to be a fun Moore League season. These Millican Rams and the Wilson Bruins are at the top of the league. Can't wait for them to play. Uh, coming up here to round out the first half of league play. You want coverage of Moore League baseball? Keep it locked right here. You're home for local sports.